Hey everyone, it is I, King Mike X, here with another Jigalia Lost video, and I'm going to be doing the a tier list for the end of July. Now, I did do, I wasn't going to do one originally, but thanks to the new updates involving all these care, involving the three star dragons and four star dragons that have HP and strength, uh, HP and strength increase, as well as the five star. Five star dragons that get HP and strength and are the welfare and are the raid event welfare dragons getting an increase to some of their stats. I decided to make this one. So nothing has really changed from my first lit tier list. Um, at least so uh, nothing much has not too much has been changed around with only certain ones at least in terms of the lower stuff. So for flame, I took all these status the. The dragons still are here. Most of the dragons are still here. The only thing that changed is I moved Erasmus up to D plus because Erasmus is now a strength fetch forty percent, so he's just better than Bonhilda. Um, and even though the Sylvia did get an increase, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of HP, the forced event HP dragons, except for some, as well as the event HP, the rate event HP welfare dragons. Some of them I am. And I'll get to them. Uh, Pauliahu stays here as well. I, n none of the first stars are really that amazing at least for the HP one. Now, she does freeze, but I mean, what's to say there's gonna, there's better units that could freeze as well, better dragons. Um, she's, okay, Shisama is one of the only event dragons I didn't get a change to any of his stats. Uh, so. I moved up Phantom, and, and so I moved up Pele because Pele's now deals some pretty good damage, and is almost on I would say considered on the same level as if Fleet. Pele and Poseidon are moved. I moved up because they're better now as well as Fadi. I moved down because he's. I mean, he's good, but he's not a. But there's better, like I said, better dragons. Yulong moved up. To be on rock, uh, Liger. This has a change because he uh, he because he got both of these got increases. Uh, so there's that. Oh, and when I was talking about the four star dragons that got, uh, okay. When I was talking about four star dragons, uh, four star eight, Okay, the four star HP dragons didn't get didn't see a change at all. It's just a five star. HP and strength dragons. The only four stars were the two event ones. So this one hasn't changed. But yeah, these two changed and now I consider them better better consider them better than Zodiac because well I mean he freezes but uh, and he has HP and strength plus twenty five percent now and Phantom Yeah. And Phantom now is forty percent strength. So that's why I put them all here. Uh Juggernaut I so nothing much has changed here. Mini Zodi is up here. I moved up Parallel Zodiac up to his C plus because Parallel Zodiac is a really good is actually one a really good he's one of the best event welfare dragons. Um I also moved these two around I moved up uh Raphalos up here because Raphalos is well Raph is considered on par with Hybron Hoda because even though he doesn't doesn't have as much HP and strength and, as well as doesn't as well as the fact that he doesn't have the um dragon time, his skill is better. His skill does a lot of damage. Same thing with Mini Zadi and Mini Mini Mids, they both do a ton of damage, which is why I consider them on par with some of these other with their high dragon counterparts because they don't do any effect, but they just do so much damage with their skills. I mean he does over fifteen hundred damage and he does eighteen and Mini Zadi does eighteen hundred. Damage with this guy, that's in, that's really in, insane. Um, this hasn't changed much. So, so Prometheus. Um, so that's now. Here's the thing. These ones now. Are, now the one thing is is that. So if you saw my earlier list, I kind of went over these briefly, but th some of these units aren't that great. The, these three are basically for grinding. And Power Zodiac does poison, but he's not the greatest strength. Vadianoi is does some pretty good damage, but nothing's too special. Hangnai 
Bogs, which is great. Poseidon hits pretty hard. Yulong is also a great. Yulong is also hits pretty hard. Rock stuns. Liger stuns. Pos um, he high Jupiter inflicts paralysis. And Howen Silky decreases enemy strength while regular Silky increases enemy defense. Phantom blinds. Maritimus freezes. He hits hard. Same with an M1. If free burns and so does Payday. These two burn as well. And and I'm pretty sure I have Mercury Boggs, if I remember correctly. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. High Mercury. Uh, yeah. Yep. High Mercury Boggs, which is also good. Um, sticks. I so going over sticks. The reason why I put in C plus, I might move him up to B, is because this kid is just not that great. Because it's like you have to wait fifteen seconds to get a fifty percent strength, fifty percent skill boost, and it's consumed once you use it. But in order to get up to, say, thirty, in, in order to get up to let's say a thirty, to get up to the max, which is if I remember correct, two hundred. You have to wait a full minute, which, with at least current flame, with the current flame content, um, especially with how she's tactics are most of the thing use, with using water units, you fights won't last that long, um, and you won't be using skills that fast. It could be good on like people like Catherine and and Eugene, but I mean, there's better versions for them. Um, and then we have uh, Samurai, who is an HP four HP plus forty percent and Overdrive Punisher plus sixty percent, which it's not that amazing, and the skill is okay. Um, it, it I mean it heal it does damage and heals everyone. Then there's um, what's the name again? Um, <laughs> then I'm banking on her name right here. It's uh, I have to go to her. I have to go to the jacket Zion uh, with the names, but yeah, um, it's I'm pretty sure it's it's uh, okay. Wait, did I just pass her? Oh, uh, oh, okay. It is. Oh yeah, Gar Garuda. Garuda, um, is HP to a sixty and does have an attack XO, but hers is actually on the way here to the user. So yeah, yeah, that's not the greatest. I mean, okay, and then there's. Of course, uh, High Midgard, who stuns the enemy and has Dragon Time and all that stuff, but he there's better versions. High Mini Mids does a ton of damage and does HP and strength, just like this one. Uh, high, Zod, high, high Jupiter uh, paral paralyzes the enemy, and Nagar, I know for a fact, is, I'm pretty sure Nagar does stun. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, no, I got just paralysis. That's right. Yeah, these two both do paralysis, but but High Jupiter is just a better version. Um, and then we have your Parallel Zodiac, who doesn't does have any special effect with his bonus with his skill, but does but has the crit damage buff, and has a crit damage increase as well as a pretty good strength buff. So he's a pretty good dragon. Minizadi. Uh, HP and strength does some pretty insane. Does doesn't have any special effect on his skill, but does eighteen hundred damage the most out of any dragon skill. Then we have parallel. Zo then we have high zodiac, who doesn't poison the targets, but instead, what he does is um, he decreases the enemy defense. We have Needhog who, and he does dragon time all the. All the high dragons have dragon time and HP and strength increase. Um, with with uh, Needhog, basically the same thing, but ha but has better stats and it was for the longest time the best HP dragon for the had a best increase for HP was be was the best dragon that increase that increases HP even though he increases HP and strength for. For um, healers on shadow, for healing units on shadow, 
And I mean, he doesn't flick blindness, so that's okay, but yeah. Then we have here, uh, oh, I can't, what's the, uh, what's the dragon? It's, what's that one's name? It's, I know it's, uh, the cat dragon, uh, Abisu. Abisu is a healing dragon, but, and does cast you gem, but only on the user, only on the person who's equipped with it. So that's the only reason why I consider him on par with Needha, because he doesn't really have the best healing skill. It works kind of well with Grace, but I'm not going to transform with, with this cat, with that one. Um, if, if I end up using Needha over instead. But it's still a great substitute, um, and I consider him on par with Need Need Hog just in case. Um, Barbados only good for low HP units, which have seen a inc which have seen a significant increase thanks to Master Cayenne. Doesn't do too much damage. He's okay at best, but he's one of the better event well raid event welfare dragons. So yeah, the only reason why I consider him on par with Paro Zodiac is because of um. Like I said, because of uh, the new, because of how, because Berlina and Kern have been seeing more you, Berlin, like low HP units like Berlina and Kern and Veronica have been getting even more use thanks to Master Cayenne. Especially in the case of Berlina, who is now like in speed runs for Master Cayenne. Um, now we have into B where we get to the good dragons. So first we have. Uh, Prometheus, who is an HP, who is a strength dragon with rin resist. Agni, who is a four-up strength dragon and has that has higher strength increase than these than this one. And then we have Takamikazuchi, if I remember correct. Or no, no, no not Takamikazuchi. It is a. Uh, it is um, Kagatsuchi, who is a prime strength dragon. And yeah, and. These two, no, these two burn, and this one doesn't burn. But the point strength isn't too great. But yeah, he he does hit hard. He does can do more damage than these two technically. But these two have burn, which is why I consider them all on the same tier. Now there's Kamui, who is the water point strength. Which point strength is every time you get your initial skill up with a vegetable cooked with this of that of the element that attuned to. The, or the element the dragon is attuned to. If they, no, um, so they get every time their initial skill gets filled up, they get a fifty percent strength increase. But it can't stack, and it goes away after a while. So that's why, in truth, they only have they can only go to maximum of sixty percent strength essentially. But they only have forty five, uh, per, a permanent forty five at first. Now there's Haster. Who is also the wind version? Now, Kamui, uh, no, Kamui and Haster. So, Kaga, so Kamui in Fix Sleeves and Haster in Fix Sleep. And like I said, with uh, with Kagachuchi, he inflicts burn. Um, now those are the only prime strength ones. There's no, there's none for light and none for shadow. Now light we have here, of course, the other element that we have here, we have here um, Gilgamesh, who is strength and element res for, so he resists shadow. Then we have the HP healing dragon for light, uh, for sixty percent HP. And uh, and um. What's her name again? Uh, oh my God, <laughs> John D. Ike, who like a, who, yeah, it's she's one of the better HP increased dragons because uh, HP sixty percent increased dragons or just straight out HP increased dragons because uh, her she doesn't hit hard in her dragon form, but the main thing about her is that her her skill is a it's an attacking skill. Which does seem that great to healers, but here's the thing: it actually is a def it gives a defense increase and a pretty good one, so it's good for defensive purposes. That's the one reason why I put on this this on B, and then we have um, um, then we have Nyarlathotep, who kind of sucks because Nyarlathotep is a strength. 
see, now Nyarlathotep gives strength plus fifty percent, fifty percent, only when you have an H when your HP is thirty percent above. Then he has the second ability, Moonlit How, which if the user is, is attuned to none, so this is for everyone. It grants the user the body tongue effect for twenty seconds when the HP drops to thirty percent. This effect effect grants the user one use shield that nullifies damage less than 60% of their maximum HP and increases their strength by 30%. These effects do not stack and are lost upon taking damage. That's the one issue about it. So yeah, not the best thing. Um, that's why I put him on there. And he doesn't do, t and he doesn't have any special effects. Now we have B where we have Cerberus, uh, Zephyr and Take Mikazuchi. Yeah, this one is the one with Take Mikazuchi. So Cerberus, uh, and so Cerberus is better than all three of these because he's she is a strength plus sixty percent dragon. She inflicts burn, but she also can decrease the enemy's attack and defense by five percent for for some for like about ten like ten or fifteen seconds. But yeah, she's better than my, she's a really good dragon to have and her skill does multiple hits is like it does like, can do a lot of hits so it's good for combo backing up a combo if you need to need to with certain people um then we have when we have zephyr who zephyr's whole thing is uh, zephyr is a 60 percent strength dragon and but and his gimmick is he hits like and he actually inflicts stun on the enemy. Taki Mikazuchi also inflicts stun um, and does light damage, but he has a strength push 40% dragon as well as his overdrive punisher push 25%. If his overdrive punisher was a little bit higher, then he would be very beneficial, especially uh, he would be a much better dragon probably, but because but he's still a good dragon, so just there's better dragons. Um, now moving on to A. Phoenix. I'm putting her in A because she is, without a doubt, in terms of dragons that only increase HP, she is the best. She has the second best healing out of any of the drag and dragons that increase HP. Because hers is a, not only does it in heal the whole party, but it has an H a HP regen. And it, heal it can heal a lot. In fact, mo back during early days, the with the raid events, um, uh, teams used to have at least one person have a uh, phoenix just because of her regen, because of how healing was back then. It wasn't too amazing. Um, water. Nimi, uh, now moving on to water, we have Nimi's who is strength and crit damage, and and um, Dragon Yojan who is strength and crit rate. Uh, both of these are good dragons. The only reason why I put the tide is because the dragon forms, um, each one of them has, Mimi's dragon form could definitely, in terms of regular attack rate, do, could deal better damage, but her skill is not as good as, it's not as, not in my opinion, not as good as Dragon Yojan, because his skill is a healing skill, which can be considered beneficial, but the fact of the matter is, is that with the current uh, with the current end game boss, which is the uh, Ayaha no Toha, um, uh, he if you do, you can have healers, but you can have healers, but uh, it's either they're going to be using healers or they're going to be most people are going to be either using healers or they're going to be using a cheese tactic. So in which case, and Nimi's doesn't really fall fit in there. Now her now Nimi's skilling. Healing skill does also increase the drag fills up the dragon gauge by twenty percent for everyone on the team, as well as extends the shapeshift time by five percent for for adventurers. But yeah, not too amazing for dragons in the shapeshift form. But yeah, not too amazing. Um, her while dragon hero Jean crit rate is still a pretty good thing, and she boosts it up by twenty percent. But she also uh, her skill freezes. Which is beneficial for Ayaha, which could be beneficial for Ayaha Matoha, especially an expert, because she could be freezed. Then we have Long Long. Long Long is also crit damage, but 
he and he does attacking, but he doesn't have um. Okay, if Nimi's had an attacking move, by the way, I would consider her, I would probably move down, Dragon Jean, Jean, Jean down to B plus or move him up to A plus because that would make it better depending on what the attacking skill. Uh, well, it also have to depend on how the attacking skill works because if it didn't, if it had, if it say had the additional effects that it did, then yeah, I'll probably put it put him up to A plus. But now, now Long Long does have an attacking move, but it does. It, it does have an attacking move, and it's also a crit strength and a crit damage increase dragon like Nimi's, but his doesn't have any special, like, doesn't have a status, doesn't have any secondary effects to his scale. Still a great dragon, though, and still kind of beneficial. Now we have, now we have here Popstar Simon. I used to, I would, uh, initially I used to think she was an A plus, but I moved it on to A because. She, she still sees use in, involving with expert involving with expert or even sometimes master folk with um uh, with a uh, with a uh, Halloween Halloween Lowen because of the strength and defense increase that she gets as well as the energizing the team if you could get as well as she can energize this team if you get to go off twice at so that's one benefit from her skill but. Her main focus was she used to be the best dragon for Chitose, and she got upset by the one above her, this one, Tishan Gangzhu, but she's still a great dragon to have, and if you don't have this one maxed out, use her instead for Chitose. Now moving on to A, we have here Chithonius and Andromeda. Chithonius is a strength, he only had 55% strength, Chithonius, but the gimmick is, is that he... Every time you dragon shift, he gets a ten percent strength thing. You get an additional ten percent strength increase for the remainder of the quest, and mind you, it can only be used twice. So totally, you can get up to seventy five percent strength. So that's the one benefit, and also his skill, uh, poisons enemy, which is also pretty good. And Tramina, I moved her up from B plus to A because when I was saying about how Belina characters with OHP HP are getting more use, especially in the case of Belina with Master Cayenne, she's been seeing also some more use for people who didn't get Fatalis as... She, I mean, she's only beneficial for low HP units, but when she does, she has the same strength increase as Fatalis, but she also boosts defense to up by 100%, and her skill also increases defense. For the whole team, so that's why she's she could be much, and and you could transform without having to deal with curse. So that's the one thing. Now moving into a push, we have Arctos. Arctos, I put in here because, well, well, because of how she work. Uh, because Arctos, uh, I didn't say her. Arctos is a a crit strength and crit damage dragon, but he's better than these two. And mostly because his attacking skill actually has an effect, which is done. Mind you, it's probably the worst out of. He's probably has the worst involving. And in, in terms of other dragons that can fix stun, his is probably the worst because of how his attack animation works. But still, it's a very. He's a very good dragon. And if you don't like Gal Mars, he's great on. He's great on both Azadeth and also the new one, Gala, Gala Laxi. Um, I used to have him in A, but I'm going to have to A plus because of that, because he's just a good dragon. Leviathan, in terms of dra in terms of the regular dragon transformation, not counting Tiki, uh, best dragon. Actually, he might be still be better better with the dragon transformation than Tiki. Actually, no, no, Tiki does some pretty good damage with her dragon. Anyway, involving her, involving Leviathan, Leviathan deals a lot. Can, is an amazing dragon. Hits has does some of the is one of the strongest dragons in in dragon form it is one of the strongest dragons and pos, and quite possibly the, the strongest dragon in water as well as the fact that his main skill box which if you get it off early that it which bog as you know bog I, I didn't say this before but it makes it so enemies take 50 percent more damage when more out there inflicted with bogs, so that's the whole thing. As well as they move slower. Like slower as molasses. Um then we have Garden. Garden is uh, a better version than Yarathota because he has a 
strength plus 50% and is permanent, not hindered by HP. And the second skill is a one use divergent shield, which can stack with ordinary shields, and it can block it to 40% of HP. And and it will activate at every 50 seconds. You will it will give you a new one so long as you don't get knocked. But as long as you go 15 seconds without getting knocked back. And while that's active, you get the 30% strength increase. So very good dragon. The only downside is is that just like the other type, he doesn't do too much damage. His skill doesn't have any secondary effect. But he's a great dragon on wind. Uh, otherwise, now. Moving on to light, we have Cupid. Now, Cupid is a 60% strength increase dragon. Now, she has a, now Cupid has a, he has a healing skill, which I talked about how Anubis I wish had an attacking skill, but the reason why I say it's better for Cupid is because Cupid's healing skill is really good and allows for healerless ones on, on light, and especially with the current content, but the meta content, but that could change because of, um, because we're part more because apparently people are speculating that the first one of the first out of like the first, when we get to the first round of mana spiders for light, three of them if they're only the if they're only two three at the first time they are gonna want are gonna be Julieta Amane and one of and one of them being Hildegard who, uh, if that makes so we'll see but still a great dragon. As well as the fact that it boosts crit rate, you see, he boosts crit rate by twenty five percent for like fifteen seconds, which is very beneficial. Then we have Tishan Gangzu. I used to think that Tish now Tishan Gangzu is a HP and skill haste dragon, which um, I have all all the other ones up here, with the, at least the ones that have skill haste. The reason why I put this one down below is because her skill doesn't fit her, because her skill is essentially um, her skill is just Shinobi's but weaker, because hers only does 500 damage, but it does energize the entire team. But for an HP one, I was hoping for a, a healing skill. Now, moving on to Niara third. Now, we're moving on to Marishitan, where Marishitan is an amazing dragon. It, she is a 60% strength increased dragon. Now, I could have put... Now, I reason why I put her above the rest is because, yes, she does, he does... Shithonius does poison. And can get up to seventy five percent strength, and Andromeda can get up to eighty percent strength, but only with low HP, and does give the defense boost. But Marishita affects bleeding, which bleeding is actually a pretty useful thing, especially since not too many since out of the there's since out of the units that are currently being used in the meta right now, there's probably only one or two because some people I I've heard I've seen people actually I think you could because um, because of the current endgame meta with a uh, shadow, um, breeding is definitely a uh, breeding is definitely a very good thing to have. So that's why I put Marisitan on the, up above, and Marisitan just does just really good dynamic. That's all, the only reason why I put them above these two. Because, I mean, yes, the he does poison, but sh shadows are oversaturated with poison, and like I said, only good on the low HP units. This one is good. Good as substitute for almost everyone. Um, now moving on to now, let's move on to S, which is going to be the. These are going to be essentially really the dragons that you can definitely go for and use a lot. First up, we have Konohana Sakia. Skill dra attack plus twenty percent, skill damage plus ninety percent. This is the skill damage dragons are. Some of the top are considered like the best of the best in most for most elements, but except for well, except for a few occasions, and we'll explain that. So you can for damage doing, yeah, these ones are amazing. And her skill and Konosaki's skill makes it so that you do and the next next skill the user uses after using a skill does forty percent more has for, does forty percent more have forty percent more damage. So, so that's the one thing. Then we have here Dread King Raphalos, who bur not only inflicts burn, um, but his abilities are really crazy because he does a st he increases strength. So Dread King Raphalos, because I need to pull him up, is yeah burns the target, does about five hundred damage total. 
But he does strength plus 55% and force strength damage plus 60%. And his ability 2 is increases ga skill gauge fail rate by 30% when the user's force strike connects, but slows the rate the remote gauge decreases by 30%. He is a very good dragon, and while, it's, while he's. Uh, and he was a combination, these two were the most used dragons, and well, we'll get to S plus again. Um, which I've already talked about how Gamma Mars is, but in terms of S, but in term, if you don't have this dragon up here, um, he's the, the considered to be the best one for most for, in cases for like swords as well as. And right now, there's still two units that use the Rat Drinking Rafflo so far, Gamma Mars, which are uh, Hunter Berserker and uh, Chelsea. Apollo is a strength plus fifty percent, and now moving on to fire, we have strength. We have now moving on to the last one. We have Apollo, who does strength plus fifty percent and burn, and burn Punisher plus twenty percent. He also, he also inflicts burn, and does, and and also, he inflicts burn with his skill, and it also decreases reduces def enemy's defense by five percent. One of the um, an amazing dragon, very good. The only I, okay now in certain conditions you might say he's better than these two, but the thing of the matter is, is that because of how oversaturated burn is on burn, the burn the burn infliction is on fire, how it becomes, um, I would say that he's not always going to be above them, but still he's an amazing dragon and definitely one you should have for your team. Um, um, water, now for water, moving on, we have Gavne and Krenne, Siren, and Howie and Marie Timis. Gavne and Krenne are a, are a strength damage, increase strength by 50%, but they also increase, have this unique thing called skill, where they, uh, involving skill gauge, which, and involving, um, involving skill gauge, where, Every time you use a skill, it fills up the that skill gets a thirty five percent, and that skill keeps a thirty it starts off with thirty five percent more, if I remember. Yeah, it it, it starts off skill recharge. Yeah, fills thirty five thirty five percent of a skill's skill gauge after using that skill, and as water strength puts my bad increases strength by forty five percent, and the skill creates a buff zone where. At least when you're maxed out, it will completely max. It essentially gives you a full. Um, it fills up all your skill. The skill, all your skills. If you stay in the 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 buff zone for the full ten seconds, every single one of your skills will be filled up to the max. So, and he is the premier water dragon right now, along with these two. This uh, Pulsar Siren is, of course, the water version of Konohana Sakia. Same effects, same stuff, just for water. So that's the big thing involving her. So if you, if Gun and Krenny and Pasha Simon are the main ones, then of course we have here the best one to use for healers as well as sometimes for healer response if you're using buffs. Howie Maritimus. He is an HP and skill haste dragon, which is HP 30, skill haste plus 35%. And the main thing about him is his special effect is he creates a buff zone that lasts for 30, 10 seconds. He heals the party and creates a buff zone that lasts for 10 seconds. But and inside that buff zone, um, you, this is where you want to save your skills for because every skill you do would do 30% more damage. So that's his whole gimmick, which is pretty dang good. Then, of course, there's value. Now moving on to win, we have here value. Value is essentially the... is essentially like the... Siren and Konanasaki are same stuff, a skill damage dragon, same effect. Now we're moving on to the new dragon, who I know I'm going to see, it's, I might think of, people might think this is kind of crazy for putting a, an S, Summer Konohanasaki. She is a doozy, right now she's actually bugged, if you have her unbound from between 1 and 3. So if you have a 0 unbound or max unbound, it, she works, but on one through three, if you one through three, one of her things doesn't her skill one her secondary effect doesn't work. So, her, let's talk about her skill. 
Her skills are it restores the it user's HP with 84% recovery potency and girds the user's mining flower. Now, this is the thing that doesn't it this doesn't this mining flower thing doesn't work if you have uh, unbound rate of one through three. But the, hopefully they'll fix that soon. Now the wind summer flowers ability busts the user based on the number of smiling flowers they have up to a ma maximum number maximum of six stacks. Here's her thing. Summer flowers. If the user is attuned to wind, grants the user smiling flower at the at the start of quest and grants an additional smiling flower every sixty seconds up to a maximum of six. The user will receive the following bust based on the total number of smiling flowers. So right off the bat, you already have four in, in the start of the quest. You already have a 40% strength increase. That is really good. Now, at the second flower, you of course get increased defense by 20%. Third flower, you increase skill damage by 50%. At four flowers, you reduce water damage taken by 5%. And at six flowers, you get an HP regen buff. How much you now? You might be wondering how much. Well, to show you. Okay, I know I'm not gonna. Do, okay, I'm going over this one. And max, 20% max HP every 3.9 seconds. Now, 60 seconds seems like a long time, but remember, you get one every time you transform and use your skill, and you get one at the start of the quest. Truth be told, by the time a minute, and they aren't like they get rid of them, they're permanent. Here's the thing. Value is is still an amazing dragon, but Kon with Summer Kona Hanasakiya, by the time a minute passes and in a quest, she will be better than Vayu. She ends up being more, she will end up doing more damage than Vayu because the I mean yes the skill damage plus ninety percent but a strength you do still need strength and that strength plus twenty percent doesn't does hinder much even with the amount of skill damage you have you can't do it's not gonna always work always gonna work its way out but. So that's why she's considered superior than that, and she gets and she works really well with with some of the with a lot of units, especially some in Norwin, one of the new units. Now the main thing about her is that, um, but it, like, so now I know what you're saying. I said long quest. So here's the thing. She is good. She could be considered good. For, she might be good for um. Um, if you have a max of bound, she actually might. I don't know if she's gonna. She is a great dragon to have and could could be, what if I if, it could be useful for um if 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 let's say you have a beaten level sixty of water Mercurial Gauntlet, very good dragon to have there. And also for Ciela, it's especially with Otto, she is great because the Ciela fights tend to, uh, well expert Ciela fights specifically they tend to last a long time, even the regular Ciela fights can kind of drag on, so at least if you're doing it auto or like doing it solo, um, so moving so especially and since we're probably going to be getting Master during the anniversary, I feel like she's going to be very well. Now she might be now, mind you, depending on what the what the wind gower dragon is, which we're probably gonna be getting next month. We'll see how it is, but normally it replaces this one. But she is gonna be out there. Pazuzu. Now move on to Pazuzu. Same. This is one of the just like a power, just like a power. He is a um, he is a a Punisher, a a Fuxian Punisher. Pu he does strength plus fifty and wind punishing, um, and his skill. And his skill also poisons the enemy, but also reduce, um, but also reduces the defense by five, and also reduces the enemy defense by five percent. For ten seconds, so essentially almost a carbon copy of Apollo. Um. So that's about it. At least, um, now moving on to win. Now moving on. Now the next one we have to talk about is Ariel. Premier, essentially, you could say one of the two premier, the premier buff dragon to use for buffers. Um, yeah, I mean it can change, but we're talking about when that happens. Um, but does pretty does her skill does a lot of damage and it actually could stun the enemy. It does twelve hundred damage. And she does strength plus fifty percent and skill haste plus thirty percent. 
and all in all, she and she she's the only one that is attacking skill haste. That, but yes, if Mario is definitely a dragon worth going for. Now moving on to Freya. I have history with her. I find I managed to finally got her, like I said, um, after trying to get her for so long. But she is a premier dragon. For Masuyo Gone in level 60, you actually need her in your party every right now because you can't it's not wise to use a healer, so you wanna use a heal you wanna use it one of your skills for healing in Masuyo Gone level sixty uh, for water. You, you wanna have a healing one of your shared skills being heal, healing skill or both of them being healing skills essentially. You want the sh one healing skill for shared and then you want the helpers you wanna use like a helping no one helper skill. But you also want Freya because Freya is once again the it is just like Taishan Gangzu and Halloween Maritimus. He is she is she is one of the HP plus thirty percent skill H plus thirty five percent dragons. But she's the best one. Remember how I said Phoenix had the second best healing? She has the best one, and the only reason why she has the best one is because her she doesn't act. Truth be told, her region doesn't heal as much every time. But the the reason why she's better is because hers lasts a little bit longer, which gives her, which ends up means over time you heal more. So, she I think she heals five percent. Hers ends up healing last like it just puts her over. But yeah, she's the best. She gives the most healing out of all of them, and she energizes the team, which is why I I I also put Tashan Gagsu down here because I wish it wasn't energized if if it was healing. Then I would consider her up here, up there as well, because that just makes it more useful. But yeah, Freya is an amazing dragon. You have one of the best dragons. Great for he you actually need her for hero to list runs, on win for expert for expert uh, Ciara as expert and even standard Ciara as well as for level. You also need her for level sixty. Uh, Michelle going with water. Because you, you can't use just a regular hero. You're not going to have enough DPS. Now, we move on to light. Daiko Kuten. In event, it, 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 this one is a time-limited dragon. By the way, Howie Mirutimus is also one of the time-limited dragons. Same thing with Joking Raffalos. Um, they're the only ones that are at least time-limited of the ones I went over. Oh, oh, and Mereshitan too. I forgot about her. Mereshitan is also time limited. I've at least the ones that you could pull from a banner. The not so moving on. Go as oh, and I keep forgetting Dragon Your Son is also time limited. Um, but Daikoku Ten is time limited, but is one of the premier light dragons. Does her thing is fifty? She does fifty-five percent strength increase, but she has this thing called whirlwind strength, where if you have a combo kind of fifteen or higher, it increases the your the user strength by twenty-five percent, so eighty percent strength. And Daiko Kitten's attack skill skill uh, does damage, but also leaves a buff zone that increases attack rate by twenty percent, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Attack rate by yeah, attack rate by twenty percent. Yeah, he is so he is a great dragon, very useful. Now, of course, in Phoenix is of course the other one of the uh, Punisher dra strength and Punisher dragons for uh, paralyzed enemies. Yeah, that that's course in Phoenix. Um, par she, okay, so. She paralyzes the enemy as well as inflicts paralysis. The one thing of now she doesn't decrease defense or attack like these one de decrease defense like Pazuzu or Apollo, but she what she does instead is she actually could she gets rid of both curse she removes both curse and poison from all allies, which is pretty damn beneficial. It's another way it's that's actually a pretty good useful ability to have, which is another reason why it could be considered to have, which is also really good because of how, what's to say if certain, which means that you have, if you don't have a way to cure poison, well, of course, the Phoenix is there to help you. Now we're moving on to Shadow.
these four. So we have first up we have Shinobi. Shinobi is the skill damage dragon, but he is the best of the skill damage dragon with these ones because he doesn't instead of doing skill damage for the user by forty percent, he energizes the entire team with his skill. So like I said, like just like how Tai Kung Gang Tai Kung Tai Tai Shan Gang Zhu does the same does like the whole thing of attacking and energizing the whole team. He does that too. And which is very beneficial because energize makes you makes the next skill you do do one and a half times more damage or if it's a healing skill does one and a half more recovery potency. Um so all in all Shinobi is an amazing dragon to have if and is used to be the premier dragon to have on Shadow before one of the two premier dragons, mind you. Actually more so than this one. It, it while Konosaki and Joking Rafters used to kind of like share in terms of like used to like fight it used to be neck and neck with how many he had shinobi dominated most of shadow dominated a lot of shadow now we have fatalis fatalis is a strength plus he's first one to strength plus 50 percent which is actually not our which here's the thing or actually no it's not that fatalis here's the thing about fatalis he is an interesting dragon his skill, you don't, no, you don't really want to transform into him. So his first ability does strength by 50%, increases strength by 50%, and that's for everyone, for any people. You don't have to just be Shadow. But when the use of Shapeshift is undone, they will be cursed for the rest of the, of the quest, irrespective of their element. So that's the one thing. Now, there is ways to get around it, such as using... Uh, if you end up ha if you end up having a Hildegard skill to remove curse, or if you're facing off against expert or master Cayenne and he summons those unbreakable satellites, you can run into them and it will move the curse and put blind on set on instead. So, um, and also, and with in the case of Aldred and Belina, that doesn't really matter because of their dragon job, so you could transform and not have to worry about. You can use their dragon drive and not have to worry about that curse. And this, the second one is strength plus thirty percent if you're sh attuned to shadow. So Fatalis is Fatalis still sees use, um, just only to certain units. Um, w w one of them happens to be Nea, who's one of the better DPS units. But yeah, there's not too many units that use them. Now moving on. Oh, oh, and also Delphi, Delphi as well. Now moving on to Epimetheus, who is the shadow version of the he's one of the punter he is also one of the status element punishing dragons. The only thing about him is his, well his poison lasts for a while, but yeah, he doesn't do any secondary effect besides the he doesn't do another effect besides the poison like the other guys, but he's still a very good dragon and actually he's the best dragon right now for Durant, if you ever maxed out. A very useful dragon. I would def one of the better ones. Azazel. Azazel might actually be up here on S plus and well okay, now I don't think he's gonna be on S plus. Here's the thing. Azazel is an is great for healers because he is an HP and HP plus thirty percent skill haste he's the HP skill haste dragon. The thing about him that's really good is that his skill is unique as well compared to uh, as well as the other ones. His is an attacking skill. It does 500 damage. So, just like Taishan Gang he he also is an attacking one, but the difference is, is that his poisons the enemy and also gives the entire team Poison Punisher for like a good 40 seconds. Uh, poison Punisher plus 15%. So, yeah, he is a very useful dragon. And also, when the DPS gets updated, when the DPS sim gets updated, it with for Shadow because it hasn't updated since we've got the new tree and the new Agito and the new Shadow Agito tier two, the new six star tier two Agito weapon. Um, if in truth be told, he's gonna be better for Galcrio than actually Galakat Cat's it. And the reason why I'm saying this is because at two hundred and twenty two. 222,500 team DPS, which Shadow's already at 100, was at 183,000 before the Shadow Rocket, before the Master Volk, Master Cayenne came out. So 
when we get the update on the DPS, and if it's about two hundred, if it's about two hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred team DPS, um, yeah, use as you're gonna use people are gonna be people should use as a show for Gower Cat Sith, for Gower Cleo that is, cause he just ends up being much better. But that's that's th like that. In fact, actually, at two hundred thousand, he's already better than Shinobi. So he yeah he's gonna be better than Shinobi for Gower Cleo, and he. Also might be better for Gawa Cat Sith. Now let's move on to the S plus. Gawa Mars a Gawa Cat Sith. Gawa Mars has his ability is busted. Strength plus seventy percent, and if your HP is fifty percent, fifty percent or above, you get another strength plus twenty percent for Flame to Tomb. And each time the shape shift and and for shape whenever you shape shift. And you end that shape shift, you get it and completely fills all your skills up to max. Not only that, but um, his skill is uh, his skill. His, first of all, he does a lot of damage with his attacks, even way more than most other dragons. He's he's actually one of the. I think I don't know what Gower Catch Death's damage mods are. I was hoping if someone makes a new da dragon DPS chart, please. Please update it, or I'm hoping the person who made that originally please update it so we can have these ones. Cause, but he is, if if you look at it right now, he besides um Nathna's special near on third top, he's the strongest dragon. Gawain Morris is the strongest dragon because he, first of all he uses his skill twice, which it does 750 percent damage, so total it can do up to 1500 damage, and it gives a strength but uh 20 percent. For 20 seconds each time you use that skill. So if you play your card right, you can get 40% strength every time. Not only that, but there are, because of the ending shape shift, let's just say this there, if there are builds set up on Flame where you can literally just transform a crap ton with Gala Mars, like almost like in like almost instant as soon as you transform the first time, because every time, it, mind you, it requires a lot of like switching around and stuff, like increasing the amount of. Such as increasing your uh, dragon haste by a lot, as well as having both Udens and or having both Uden, using both Udens and uh, and um, and uh, Gala Mim skill, which increase which fills up the dragon haste when used. So yeah, but both are Premier Dragon is the best dragon for almost every adventure besides. Chelsea and Konoha and Hunter Berserker, I mean. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can use any of the S plus S dragons though. It's not necessary but this is just like most people but you might if you don't have them, don't 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 you still might get uh kicked out of rooms because there are some elitists who want to who think only who only want to see Gawa Mars and won't accept the other ones because you don't think they're good enough, even though you can easily do it with other dragons. Bunch of elite people. So yeah, that's about it. Gawa Cat Sith is in is different. Her Gawa Cat Sith's whole thing is skill damage. At max at maximum bound, you get fifteen charges at this one skill, which if I gotta go over and look at it. So Gawa, yeah, Gawa Cat Sith, Gawa Cat Sith, her skill, or yeah, her, her skill is called Skill for Trickery, which um, if the user turns to shadow, increases the damage dealt by the user's next 15 skills by 180 percent at the start of quest. Every 25 hit combo, we increase the damage dealt by an additional skill. Damage dealt by an additional skill by 100. 80%. A maximum of 15 of this skill damage increasing effect can be stored for use, and any, ex and any excess will be discarded. Then, of course, there's ending shape shift equals skill for trickery, which increases the damage dealt by the user's next X skills by 180% when the user's shape shift is undone. Her main skill is Elgin Arc Artifice, which does damage over time. But it's not, and it's good for setting a charm match, but it's not too, it's not the most, it doesn't do too much damage. Her main thing is her dragon attack, because inflict, she inflicts sleep. She has a chance to inflict sleep, which could be very good for Master Cayenne. 
Um, now, for Master Cayenne, actually, Gower Cat's Death has been seeing less use, specifically with, uh, specifically with units like Patia, uh, specifically with units that don't have the mutes, which is Patia, Gower Alex, and, and, um, well, Patia and Gower Alex more specifically, uh, because Patia, well, Patia is anyway, is going to be a buffer, mostly playing the role of the buffer, but, um, Gower Alex really hinders. Most people have been switching over to use Shinobi instead. Uh, Gower, if you're not in distance range, you're fine, and, okay, like, uh, oh yeah, and also current would be the same. The only reason why I didn't say Belina is because she's a dagger, and daggers are known to rack up combos pretty easily, so they can instantly refill. So, you, even though Master Kayen doesn't has a lot of attacks where they where you have a hard time avoiding them, the thing that it doesn't really matter, especially with the fact is you're you're with daggers because they move so fast you can rack up. Yeah, I can you can rack if you're if you're good enough you can rack up. If you know how to play Belina, you can rack up. Uh, or even Delphi, or even Delphi, you can rack up combo a twenty five percent combo. In between, kind of using, but then again, you're not using Gala Catch with Delphi. So it's, it's, she's, she still sees a lot of use, but yeah, she, but she is an amazing dragon, and she, except for, for Master Cayenne, everyone uses her for every, almost everyone besides Durant, Durant, Nenea, and uh, Delphi. Who with Delphi and Nenea using Fatalis and Durant using Epimetheus. Everyone else bit uses Galakat Sith. Also, same thing with the healers. Um, so yeah, that's the whole thing involving that. So these two are the premier dragons, but you don't need them. Shinobi is fine as it is. Same thing with Fatalis, even Epimetheus, and also Azazo is still great for heal. It's probably the best thing for healers. It so. In truth, that's essentially my list for the for Jigari Lash for the drag my dragon tier list for June for July. Um to, we got two in two days, um probably be doing a new video for this month in Jigari Alas. So I'm um, look look forward to that. Um to, so that's gonna be it for this video. Uh if you haven't all if you like this video, click the like button and or leave a comment down below. I should say this video around. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you can get notified on all my videos when they get uploaded. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be in about two days. So until then, bye.